Alrighty, hey Honors Chemistry, here is part two of Quiz Help with Dimensional Analysis. So you'll get a question that is asking you to go from one to the other. This question says it's going from 23CL to NL. So CL is centiliters and NL is nanoliters. I also put two fractions here. That means I'm going to need to do two steps and I do not have a direct conversion between centiliters and nanoliters. If I look at any of my notes, right? if, I, if you look at any of your papers, you're going to see that there are no direct conversions between centiliters and nanoliters. What you do know is that there are 10 to the squared centimeters over one meter, which I could write that as 10 to the squared centiliters over one liter, or one meter over 10 to the second centimeter, which can be written as one liter over 10 to the second centiliter. I'm just trying to show you that even though you have a bunch of conversions that have meters, I could change that, that letter M to L. And then we also have nano. We have 10 to the ninth nanometer is one meter, or one meter is 10 to the ninth nanometer. And I could use liters for this one. Liters is L. So I could do 10 to the 9th nanoliter over 1 liter, or 1 liter over 10 to the 9th nanoliter. All right, so these are a bunch of conversion factors that I got from my notes handout, and you could find that too. Let's start setting up dimensional analysis for this question. So for this question, I start with centiliters. If I start with centiliters, that means this goes on the bottom here, CL. Now, which of these conversion factors for centiliters, I'm going to just put like a dividing line here, which of these conversion factors am I going to use that has centiliters in the bottom? Well, it's this one. This has 10 to the second CLs on the bottom and 1L on top. So let me put 1L and 10 to the second CL. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to convert and I want nanoliters. So I need to have nanoliters on top because I want that. And now I have liters on the top here. Whatever I have on the top in the previous fraction goes on the bottom in the next fraction. These CLs are going to cancel out. I have liters at top here. That means I need liters here. And I want nanoliters nanoliters goes on top. And so which is the only other conversion factor that has NL on top and L on the bottom? And that's this one. 10 to the 9th nanoliters is 1 liter. And liters will end up canceling out and I'll be left with nanoliters. So again, just to clarify the setup, I started with centiliters. That means I got to put centiliters on the bottom. The only conversion factors that I have, and you'll be given conversion factors that has centiliters on the bottom, is this one. That's 10 to the second second liters over one liter, uh, underneath one liter. Then, if I have centiliters canceled out and I have one liter on top here, that means liter is going to be on the bottom here. And I want nanoliters. That means I have to put nanoliters on top. Remember, it's want over have. So the only fraction that had nanoliters on top and liters on the bottom is 10 to the ninth nanoliters over 1 liter. Now I'm going to do my math. 23 centiliters times 1 divided by 10 to the second. So I'm going to do 23 times 1 divided by 10 to the second, raised to the second, and I get 0.23. Then I'm going to multiply by 10 to the 9th. So I'm going to do times 10 raised to the 9th. And notice how I put everything in parentheses so I don't make a mistake again. And then I'm going to divide by 1. And I get this huge number. I get, I'm going to put all those zeros there and then I'll put it in scientific notation. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nanoliters. So if I want that in scientific notation, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two point three times ten to the eighth 
nanoliters. And that'll be like another question on your quiz that you have to convert by using two conversions.